I see to the candidates a question, and if you agree, you may say, yes, I am. Are you convinced that you have been called to spend your life in the cause of Christ and in the ministry of his church? If you agree, you may say, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Do you know in the presence of God and his congregation, commit yourselves to the trust and responsibility of this calling? Yes, you may say, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Will you be diligent in the reading and studying of the Holy Scriptures and the seeking the knowledge of such things as they will make you a stronger and more able minister? Answer by saying, I will with God's help. I will with God's help. When you undertake to be faithful to all to whom you are called to serve in building up the family of God, you may answer by saying, I will with God's help. I will with God's help. When you preserve in prayer in public and in private, asking God's help for yourself and others, allowing the Holy Spirit to guide you in all your matters. You may say, I will. I will. When you pattern your life after Jesus Christ, that you may be a light in a dark world as he is the light. You may say, I will. I will. When you in all things seek to bring praise and glory to our Lord Jesus Christ, you may say, I will. I will. Amen. We're going to move right along here. Christianity is based on a miracle. Matthew, the first chapter, and Luke, the first chapter, tell us that Jesus was born on of the Virgin Mary. Yet Revelation 22, verse 13, tell us that he is Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Do you agree? You may respond, yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Hebrews 10, 14, tell us by one author he was perfect forever them that are sanctified. Jesus, our Passover lamb, through his atonement, has done a perfect work in redeeming our salvation. Do you agree? You may respond, yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Luke 4, 8, Jesus reminds us that we are to worship the Lord your God, and him only shall thou serve. We love our spouses, children, family, spiritual leaders, and friends. But God is the only one to receive worship. Do you agree? I agree. Matthew 22, verse 37 to 39, Jesus gives two commandments. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor and thyself. On these two commandments, saying, all the Lord and the prophets, do you agree? You may respond, yes, I agree. Yes, yes I agree. Out of the many titles for the believer, being a servant is the foremost. Galatians 1.10 tells us that as a servant we are to seek the approval of God and not a man. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. 2 Timothy 4, 3-4, Apostle Paul talks about a time when sound doctrine will not be endured and people will have itching ears. We do not compromise or sugarcoat the unadulterated word of God in season or out of season. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Matthew 5, 15, 16 tells us that we are to let our light and good works shine before men. In doing so, we are glorifying God. And, the lifestyle should, and our lifestyle should always represent the holiness of our Heavenly Father. And the fruit that the Holy Spirit has placed inside of us. Be agree, respond, yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Isaiah 64 and 8 tells us that we are clay in the Father's hand. Our spiritual journey is an ongoing process. Walking in love, humility, and having the right attitude allows the Father's hands to move freely. We ought to never get to the place where we feel that we have obtained it all. And we must always yield to the Holy Spirit's motive. Do you agree, respond, yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Pride comes in many forms and wear many costumes. God said in Proverbs, the sixth chapter, he hates it. 
Self-centeredness is a destroyer. Elijah got a syndrome where he thought he was the only righteous one left. We are not the only pebble on the beach on God's celestial shore. We are not to give room to pride, jealousy, or competition. Philippians 2, 3, and 4 tell us. Amen. Yes. Do you agree? He's fine. Yes, I agree. Yes, yes I, I agree. agree. Psalm 151. Not to us, O oh Lord, not to us, but your name you glory. Twice the verse says, not to us. We are kingdom builders, not building our own kingdom. We must be careful not to take any of God's glory for ourselves. Do you agree? He's fine. Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. In today's society, it is often taught that there are many ways to God, where they are completely leave Jesus out. In John 14, verse 6, Jesus says, I am the way to truth and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. First Timothy 2, verse 6, that Jesus is the only mediator between God and men. Do you agree this one? Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Ephesians 2, 89 states, For by grace are you saved through faith. And not that of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works. Lest any man should boast. Mark 15, 16 tells us to preach the gospel to every creature. John 3, 16 tells us whoever, whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. We are just to display compassion towards all. We are not to show prejudice or have respect of persons when witnessing, ministering, or showing acts of kindness. Do you agree? You may be strong. Yes, I agree. Yes, yes I, I agree. agree. Amen. That's what you did with us. You're almost there. Ephesians 4 11 tells us the house of God has a protocol and an order. While Christ is our chief shepherd, he has placed spiritual leaders in the church for a purpose. First Chronicles 16, 22 states, touch not now my anointing, do my coffee no harm. David exercises this for sore. We ought to always show respect towards our spiritual leader, even in times of disagreement. Do you agree? If you agree with this, say yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. John Wimbledon stated that care be used at home. First Timothy 5, 18 states, he provided not for his own, and especially for those in his own house. He have denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. While we strongly practice fellowship and supporting others, our priority and attendance service and financial support starts and remains at our home church. Do you agree? I, start, yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Some ministers are for a lifetime. Others are only for a season. It's for whatever reason you are led by the Holy Spirit to depart from this congregation. You are to directly confer that with the spiritual leader and depart in the spirit of love and peace. Both parties should have only well wishes and prayers and supplications for the other. If you agree, say yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. We thank God for that. Amen. Now, because we have a multi platform of the fivefold ministry, we will be doing some things a little differently. Praise God. Amen. But we ask that you would just have a little patience with us. Amen. As we move forward. Amen. In conclusion of affirmation for the nation. Amen. 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 Praise God. We have two candidates for at this moment. Oh, I think he's still okay. I apologize for that. Amen. You know, our apostle Billy Williams is playing as late. So we're going to move on at this time. Amen. Praise God. We call apostles and pastors. Amen. Prophets and evangelists. Amen. And teachers, praise God. And we thank God, amen, for the order. Now I got the order. Stop there, but we thank God 
at this time, we are going to dress in uh, first, amen, Apostle uh, Designate, yes. and these garments represent spiritual meanings. Yes. And as we do this, we ask that you take these things not as just garments. They are not, it's not about pretentious and garments. It's about living the mantle. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. That Christ puts on us as we submit our lives to him. I know Don't get wrapped up in the pretentious. Don't yes. get wrapped oh. up. He oh. never shot. Amen. In the titles. But we want you to know that in the earthly realm that Christ is establishing you. Amen. And it's part of your spiritual journey. Amen. Now, some of these things are worn throughout the fivefold ministry, and some of them are not. But we will be quick, but we do want to emphasize the importance. Amen. Can you hear me? Praise God. First, we have the Tessah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I know you can hear me. Praise Him. Praise Him. Put it on Facebook. I'm just recording. <coughs> 